Official.streetsmarts at gmail is how you want to contact us. Listen to us right here exclusively on YouTube, Street Smart Audio. A fuck with us. Official.streetsmarts on IG. Street Smart fan page on Facebook. Street underscore smarts on Twitter. This is the Extreme Retro Review for ECW. September 21st, 1993. Hollywood. Hot stuff, Hollywood. Well, well are, are you hot stuff, Hollywood, at this point? I am forever hot stuff Hollywood until I d- decide to go with something else. But as far as I can see, I will be hot stuff Hollywood because I am a product. Well, I, I shouldn't say a product, but I, I have been refined by the tutelage and the teachings of the great leader and founder of Hot Stuff International, the King of Philadelphia, Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert. And I owe him a magnitude of gratitude. What were your thoughts on this show? I thought it was a waste of my time, <laughs> to be honest. So, here you go. Ultra Class show. So, when you hear the review and you say, oh man, Fuji Hollywood suck for the damn Ultra Class review. Don't blame us. <laughs> blame fucking Todd. Blame fucking Eddie Gilbert. Blame fucking Paul E. Because that show sucked. And it's not my fault. My partner in crime fucking trails off 8,000 times <laughs> in a goddamn show. Because <laughs> the show sucked. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> it's, not my, it's not his fault. <laughs> Not my bad. It didn't didn't hold our fucking attention. We're just going to keep it going. Onward and upward. You know what I'm saying? All right. That's how you stay the course, though. You know what I'm saying? Consistency. So we got um, the ending of the scaffold match from Ultra Clash, but they freeze it. And Smith is about two or three feet above the, uh, above the ring from jobbing mm-hmm. and blowing out his knee. Mm-hmm. I was like, all right. All right. And then we go into the intro. So we go straight into a TV title match. Jimmy Superfly snooker with Don Morocco versus the Metal Maniac. It's a basic snooker face match because the crowd doesn't like the Maniac at all. They're basically booing the Maniac just on sight. And another fake-ass Ultimate Warrior. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Glenn Osborne in drag. <laughs> Styles on play-by-play because Sully is preparing for the, the fall swimwear showdown. Not a bikini contest. I don't blame him, though. Squish Squash, Snuggle with a sloppy roll up for the win. Uh, Styles, Shills, uh, Funk, and Snooker in the cage at NWA Blood Feast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Done for the match. What you thought? <clears throat> um, it was good to see Hot Stuff International member Super- Jimmy Superfly Snooker, who, as you mentioned, is your ECW television champion. Um... Um, the match was, I don't know, I guess they needed a way to feature him and they didn't want to bury nobody else that night, so it was the Metal Maniac. But it, it, Why'd they get Tommy Cairo? They, we're, we're done with Tommy Cairo. <laughs> you could have got Larry Winters. could have brought him out of mothballs. You know what? I, I wish um, someone would have brought him back for that because like, we take care of J.T. Smith. I kind of feel bad for Larry Winters. He need to eat out here too. All right, so we got Joey Styles in the control center, and he's chilling and promoting Blood Feast 93. Got a recap of Todd, and this is the first appearance of Maddie in the house, promoting the fall fashion swimwear showdown, and out comes woman. I didn't see this part on Ultra Clash. I was wondering. I missed this part. It was clipped from Ultra Clash, and they showed it on, the, on this show, uh, which is basically a clip show of Ultra Clash. Yeah. Which didn't much. make sense. Why didn't you just show it on Ultra Class? <laughs> <clears throat> Woman with an inaudible promo. Moving on. We got a Jay Sully promo. He's promoting Bullet Feast. Moving on. Joey Styles recaps Sal Belomo and his antics. Video recap of the Belomo Ultra Clash match. Oh, my goodness. They censored the, the Rock and Rebel run in. Mm. And then Styles is on the phone for Belomo's, with Belomo's doctor for like a thousand years. Dr. Voorhees, if you didn't catch his name. Right. <clears throat> Not related to Jason. Yeah, oh, man. Before, what was his name? Thomas or something? But before they said that, I was like, oh, please, at least make the doctor's name Jason. Please. Nah. 
Well, they already got Jason Voorhees working, so he can't be working and being a, be doctor. a doctor. Oh, that's right, because he's facing off against Freddy and stuff. Right. Right, okay. <laughs> In 10 second match. Uh, oh, well, that's <laughs> Jason's brother. Right. <laughs> We're not monsters. <laughs> they both cut on people just for different reasons. Yeah. All right, so we got Joey Styles with a lead in to the end of the scaffold match. Uh, Sully with JT with his bandaged knee. Smith with a terrible fucking promo. Oh, oh my goodness. If now I know why, uh, like, all, all we see him do is job. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, I, this is the first promo I can recall from JT Smith. So I don't know if he did one and I just didn't pay attention or I blocked it out, selective memory or whatever. But when I actually paid attention to this, because, you know, I give a fuck about it. I told, I told every podcast I come on here and say, we make sure JT eat out here. Eat out here. You know what I'm saying? So then for him to get on the microphone and then him open his mouth about some knots, um, uh, Philadelphia's city Not for Philadelphia. Uh, we got hot. They got violence and rage, but they're brotherly love and stuff. They're not going to stop me. <clears throat> and I'll be back. And mumbo jumbo. like had a mouthful of fucking spit in his damn mouth. Sound like Owen Hart kicking his knee out from under his knee. <laughs> oh, man. It sounded like uh, that one friend you got that loved to freestyle but can't freestyle. <laughs> <coughs> And it's like, oh my gosh, are you just please shut up? Or you sound like Hot Stuff Hollywood giving a promo. I'm sorry, come again. So we got uh, Maddie in the house with the Public Enema. Public Enema wants the tag belts. They put up too much time in the biz not to get a break. Johnny Grunge with a terrible fucking part in this promo, but Rocco fucking makes it up, makes it up for the, to finish it out. People love my promos. So we got Public Enemy from Ultra Clash. Back to Maddie, and he has to stop because two guys are stealing this, trying to steal his car. So he runs out, and it's the Public Enemy. And they both got bats, and they doing the lie, cheat, and steal gimmick before Eddie even attempted the shit. Anyway. So Maddie in the house, that's his whole... So his name isn't Maddie, and he's not just in the house, but his name is Maddie in the house. Yeah, it's like a pimp named Slickback. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just you don't call him Slickback. You say a pimp named Slickback. Right, right. Maddie in the house. He's terrible. <clears throat> yeah, when, with a name like Maddie in the house... Oh! That's... I can see why. These fucking shows were all Maddie in the house oriented and holy shit, he's annoying. He's more annoying than me. I was actually waiting for Public Enemy to either destroy his Corvette or beat him up and take his Corvette or whatever, but I guess he's a he he's a heel too. I don't know. He's just a guy who announces things. So we got a Paul Lee promo. Blood Feast, October uh, 1st and 2nd, next week, Shane Douglas in a match. All right, moving on. It's not one of Paulie's better promos. Yeah, why was he talking um, in the this, this spooky voice and shit? Because like it's Blood Feast. Like, this is Paulie, and uh, um, Sabu is coming, and Blood Feast, and yeah... The dangerous alliance, whatever he said. I'm like, what? What? Uh, what's going on with with Paulie? So, we, I skipped over it because I I couldn't. It, it didn't make no damn sense to me. Yeah, it was very, very weird. Unpaulie like. Yeah. All right, so we got a recap of Hot Stuff Hollywood's favorite match: Little Abby's versus Crash and Perez from Ultra Clash. Which. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, y'all would have to have <coughs> been watching, uh, listening a couple of weeks to get why I'm laughing and why he took that shot. Um, That was not my favorite match. He loves those guys. But, uh, you know what I'm saying, they, they give it all they got, you know what I'm saying, and I can respect that. As a, a Cleveland, Ohioan, you know what I'm saying, 
for the heartland of America and where people work hard. You know what I'm talking about? Strive to be the best they could be and make the best they could do out of the hand that they are dealt. I could dig the man hunters and uh, <laughs> the man hunters and the other niggas. <laughs> you called them the man hunters. Oh, the head hunters. <laughs> Not Green Lantern for a goof. <laughs> the head hunters. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, so we're back with Joey Styles, and they cut to another public enemy promo. Rocco brings it as usual. Johnny Grudge is terrible on the fucking mic. Man, they really want us to uh, know all about public enemy. Well, you got to, hey, there's no more Larry Winners. Oh, no. <laughs> there's no more Super Destroyers. Zoink, Scoop. I'm just saying, all these guys are out the, out the promotion, and you got these new guys in, so you got to get them over somehow. Just, uh, just shove them down our throat six times. It's not like they're the NWO or something. Like they're already established and it's, it's cool and shit. Like, all right, they done beat up. They done shown the same match. They done beating up on the Ian Rotten and Jason McKnight. <laughs> <coughs> Whoop de freaking do. Oh, yeah. Ooh, double pile driver. Oh, shoot. Oh, moonsault. Oh, the headhunter do do the same. And it's more impressive because he looked like a little Abdullah the Butcher. So, I digress. So we got Joey Styles wrapping up the show. Overall, clip show, skip show. Yeah. Not worth it. Keep it moving. Uh, I would say check out Mabel Mania uh, to check out Blood Feast. But I think his... Uh, Page got shut down. So he's now known as Viscera Mania. <laughs> so now we'll hear the next several episodes of the Extreme Retro Review of Hot Stuff Hollywood trying to find Viscera Mania on YouTube. This is a fucking goo. <laughs> oh, no, I'm, oh, I'm just supposed to know. I, I, after I tried for weeks to look for Mabel Mania, and I even came on here on this show, then nobody uh, drop a comment saying, oh, it's Viscera Mania now. Food show didn't say, no, he was just too busy. Oh, uh, trying to bury me and stuff. And now, I guess Viscera Mady is back, and I didn't magically know. Let, let me tell you something about uh, people from Krypton, okay? <laughs> Our powers are not mind reading. It is not telepathy. It is not reading the future and all that other stuff. <clears throat> you know, it's cool powers. So, forgive me if I did not know that his... He has an um, operating under a new channel now, but I will give Viscera Mania a try uh, once I remember when I get home. We'll be back <laughs> with the 928 show. Peace. Peace.